This week's market focus from Investors Trading Academy looks at the events leading up to the current markets on Monday morning. For upcoming events, watch our Economic Events of the Week, which forecasts the upcoming events. The Dow Jones rose 0.2%, while the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 edged up 0.1% each. Amid quadruple witching, volume was higher across the board, according to preliminary data. The major stock indices continued to trade modestly higher Friday to end the week with gains of more than 1%, with big cap names leading the way with the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 hitting all-time highs. Volume swelled because of quadruple witching, the simultaneous quarterly expiration of single stock and index futures and single stock and index options. The European markets finished mixed as of the most recent closing prices. The FTSE 100 gained 0.25% while the CAC led the DAX lower. They fell 0.48% and 0.17% respectively. Asian markets finished mixed as of the most recent closing prices. Shanghai Composite gained 0.15% and the Hang Seng rose 0.11%. The Nikkei 225 lost 0.08%. Market focus shifted midweek from the FOMC meeting and Janet Yellen's press conference to the turmoil and violence in Iraq. In the Forex markets, the greenback gained against other currencies as traders expected U.S. inflation may accelerate faster. U.S. consumer price index increased 0.4% in May on a seasonally adjusted basis, the biggest gain since February 2013, thanks to rising food and energy prices. The figure topped economists' forecast for a 0.2% rise. The Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen said Wednesday that the central bank plans to keep its interest rate target low for a considerable time after it ends its bond buying program. The euro lost against the US dollar and the British pound decreased to 1.7011 US dollars. The Australian dollar went down. The US dollar bought 102.13 Japanese yen. In the energy markets, U.S. oil prices gained as President Barack Obama announced Thursday that the U.S. will send 300 military advisors to Iraq in the wake of escalating violence and the second largest crude producer of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. Gold in the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange kept rising Friday as violence continues in Iraq and U.S. interest rates will continue to hold steady for the near future. Gold held above $1,300 for the second day in a row as violence in Iraq continued. Market analysts say that gold will likely stay in a tight range in the short term, trending on the upside. Market analysts also attributed gold strength to Chinese investors selling their physical gold while buying back hedges in the futures market. 